Ladies and gentlemen, we are live for another episode of the one and only Rebar Show with your host, JP Motherfucking Finger. Uh, what's going on? It's your boy, JP Motherfucking Fingers, chain whipping around everywhere. Let's get it. Let's do it right now. All right, big shout out. The doggy. Listen, when you're looking to spend, Spending and wanting. Spending and wanting? Let's go. Boutique as fuck. You're not finding this shit anywhere else. You better hit up at Sir Luis Cigars on Instagram. Swing your big boutique dick around. What else? 69 boys calling me right in out. Right up now. Star 69. Hit up humansmart.com. Take care of your cigars. Take care of your life. We're big fans of the 69 in our humidors. The last one, Bearded Buffalo. Look at this gray beauty. Salt and pepper wonder coming in right now. Hit them up on Instagram, at Bearded Buffalo Oils. Hit them up. Use promo code REBAR at all these fine establishments. Treat yourself. Take care of what you put all your money into. Your beard, your cigars, not your beard, your skin products, whatever. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself with the REBAR show. Ladies and gentlemen, Herf Head, Herf Daddy, Herf Wonder of the World, Herf Dashi. Hello. Yes, hello. How are you? What's going on, brother? Uh, you know, living my life again. Still here. I gave you a brother. Brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother. Brother. So, you know, when we get this shit started off, we've got to do a little disclaimer. We've got to say, the one and only Rebar show does say and do some dumb shit. And we are not affiliated whatsoever with our sponsors and our actors. Amen. We... We we think for ourselves and we act for ourselves. It's all about sponsor love, you know. If you don't like it, just turn a blind eye. Forget about us. Here's the thing. This person offends this person, this person offends this per like don't get offended by shit. That's my big thing. Like, don't, why, like, don't, you know what I mean? The only shit that yeah. works me up is just fucking, it's silly shit. Yeah. Don't get offended by us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, JP, fucking summer suit fingers, Herf Daddy, Herf Dash in, the Herf Wonder of the World. Fuck, look at those fucking pythons. Oh my God. It's amazing. Working that arm out, you know? That's amazing. All right. You know what? I'd like to get into. It's a subject, it's a topic, but it's what we're smoking, what we're drinking. Herfed, you can go first. I'm drinking my usual high noons. Everybody knows that. I'm currently ripping darts like a motherfucker because it's darts, about yes. 98 degrees. 98 degrees in here and extremely humid. Um, if I do, when I do smoke, I will be smoking the black mango if from Warped. When he does, it's provocative, it's sexual, I like it. It's a, uh, it's a, one of the drops that uh, warped. What up? Uh, what made you choose that cigar? A size. It was a nice small cigar, so I can enjoy it. Can't sit out here and smoke for two and a half hours, you know. Okay, okay. Well, fuck, especially with the weather we've been having. Jesus Christ, buddy. I'm fucking soaked. I'm soaked. I'm literally. You know, join us for the one only rebar shows. Go into your garage, go into your shed, hop on a live episode with us, and just lose weight. We're like one of those. Uh, what are those saunas called? Like the Aboriginals do them. The sauna, which sweat saunas. You know, yeah, just true. Yeah. Become pure sweat again. Tents. Sweat tents, yeah. Sweat hut, sweat tents. You know, just become pure again. Become pure with us. All right. What am I smoking? What am I drinking? I am actually smoking a. I was on vacation and I fell in love with this thing. It's a Jose Cuervo margarita. Margarita on the rocks, not blended, not slushy, but just a ice cold margarita. Jose Cuervo and Seco. So it's good, man. I can't complain. What I am smoking, it's not going to be my last one, but uh, myself, the rebar show. 
Herfed, Wiseman, Jersey Nick, Tim MC, Big Mooch. Shout out Big Mooch, the new uh the new coordinates guy, the new uh head of talent. talent. We have hit a, a pinnacle in our career where we now have to you know, we have to uh we have to part ways with United Cigars and uh there's no hard feelings and it's just business is business and I'm not saying it was you know, their I fault. Think- I'm not saying it was our fault. It's just uh we've all hit a time in our career where we just need to uh you know the rebar's gonna rebar number one, so the rebar is gonna rebar every fucking chance it can get. Coming from our point of view, uh, I mean, you have to understand that hiring Mooch was a big financial decision. Huge. And it's either do we hire Mooch or do we keep United Cigars on? So we're kind of putting a rock in a hard place. No, no, no. It's none of that. And I mean, I get it. You know what I mean? It was a business decision to take on the rebar. And, uh, you know, they've hit a point in their career where I'd like to think, you know, we helped out a lot with that. And, you know, I get it, man. We're not their crowd. We're not. No, 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 no. You know, w- the rebar is solid core line, guys. But with what they're doing now, you know, all the collabs and everything they're doing, you know what I mean? That's, that's, it's not us. And, uh, you know, as United Cigars of Business, you know, they got to make their decisions. And, you know, I accept it and I, and I support it. So no hard feelings here. Yeah, and, uh, still a great cigar, still a great company. Yeah, the one and only rebar is going to move on to. Uh, it's just a chapter in our book, and I mean, I think we're at like chapter three out of sixty nine chapters. So we're still young, we're still up and coming, and we're uh, you know we're going to do what we want to do. And uh, I'm just going to say I'm not going to give any hints, but I uh, to us really big things ahead. To everybody else, I think it's pretty big things too. So stay tuned, hang on, hold tight. Rebar Show will be here. Um, Remember to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification. Oh, fuck. I can't even believe you fucking just dropped that fucking shit. I can't even believe you just, I was looking for, I was like, holy fuck, this guy just dropped Go that. GoFundMe.com wow. backslash. If you guys, guys want to hit up, you know what? Uh, anybody listening, anybody watching, we will have a GoFundMe set up soon. Uh, Two-time guest on the show, Herfet's good friend, my good friend, uh, just a rebar elite kind of guy. Uh, oh yeah, guy's been in the hospital now, and he's just been banged up with COVID now, and he's been out of work, all this shit. So there'll be a GoFundMe set up. You know what? We'll give you the heads up when it's set up. You know, just you know, show some love, compassion, shit like that. I'm not big on that stuff, Anything. but this guy's yeah, one of my. I need dudes, to appreciate you it. You know what I mean? I I finally I felt the repercussion of COVID now. Just because my dude's got that. So anything is something. Um it wasn't real. It? it wasn't real until this, you know. It's, it's strange. I mean, I've had people pass it, from it, it, and, it hits home. Yeah. yeah right? Like it really hits, point. you know what it's I mean? Yeah, yeah. Especially the way we've seen him. Right? It's not like he yeah. just like oh he's got COVID. He's just sitting at home in bed, oh got a sore throat and, you know, shorter it's like no. I, we fucking saw this guy with a fucking mask hooked up onto his face, tape all over him. Like, no, that's no shit, intubator, man. just an oxygen. Okay, so that's good. All right, what is a noise that annoys you? What is a sound that you just fucking you're disgusted by? Oh, huh. Probably that generic wait song that they have on, like, when you get put on hold. That's pretty bad. That's pretty shitty. Uh, the punta. Um, kids, kids screaming. That's that's up there. All right. Right. No, nope. I retract. I retract that. Someone practicing basketball by themselves. There you go. Hands down. Yeah, like, dude, stop the dribbling. Dude, mine is toenails getting caught on something, and then you hear that noise of just the toenail snap back. 
I have never heard a fucking toenail make a noise. Bro, like just the sound of a nail being pulled back a little bit and then letting go up, right? I mean, I'm a work boot guy, so I, I try to keep up with my feet as best, as best as I can, you know, taking care of my toenails and shit like that. Shit gets dry down there. You know, your nails get a little bit burly. If it ain't cutting your socks, don't fucking cut your nails. It's a combination between that and literally just two feet rubbing together. <laughs> like the two just, feet rubbing together makes more sense. Like two just fucking heels, two just fucking foot soles rubbing together, man. I'm guessing you don't have a, you don't have a foot fetish. No. No. I mean, not with my own feet. Fuck, I just described them basically. Anybody that's into my uh, how I describe my feet, you guys got to hit up. Buy me a coffee. Coffee. Slash rebar. No, I'm just joking right now, but it'll it'll be there. You ever think of doing your toes the way your fingers are done? Maybe lopping some off so it matches. You walk straight. I think 100% I could lop off a couple toes. All right. Like, I don't think that would bother me. Hey, they'll call me 15. They won't call me 20. <laughs> Get a handicap sticker. Oh, hundred fucking percent, I would. If I if I lopped off a couple of toes and I still, hundred percent, I'd still live a fucking normal life. Oh, I'd have a fucking handicap sticker. I mean, <laughs> I don't, I don't envy them, but like, no, the parking, I fucking envy. You know what I mean? Like, especially when it's like I, I go there and I'm the guy with fucking, you know, three toes missing. There's a guy you know getting out. And he's like, he's got a fucking one toe missing. You know what I mean? I envy that. And I was like, oh, this fucking motherfucker, right? You got to fight about the argument in the parking lot about how many toes you're missing. Let's go to court. We're playing, we're playing Rochambeau of stomping on somebody's shoe to see where that toe <laughs> is. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, ah, okay. Nope, nothing. Nope, nope. Oh, fuck, you got one. What was it? Oh, it was a, you know what I mean? Just played Rochambeau. Uh, what's, something, what's something fun you want to do this summer? Summer? Fuck that. Sorry, I said sauna. I didn't say summer. I said sauna. We're in right now. Fuck. I want to get out of the sauna, first of all. Fuck. Can't wait to put a fucking hoodie on. Buy a new pair of slippers. Walk outside, get that crisp air, the Halloween air. Oh yeah, just a just the smell of it. Somebody's burning leaves, somebody's mulching leaves, somebody's fucking putting leaves in their fucking chimney and just burning wet. You know what? Yeah. Oh. And I'm gonna fucking be smoking a hell of a lot more cigars. <laughs> He's gonna do at least three a month now. Three, Jesus Christ! No, like one, maybe and a half. I don't know. Oh, one and a, one and a half. Have you hit my man's with the fucking Toro? That thing's getting smoked two out of the fucking three cigars that month. Nah, it's just something about smoking in this humidity and this heat. It's just, it's not, not. Good. It's not the same, man. It is no, not rough. the same. Yeah. I mean, I will say this: this cigar is a fucking pretty solid burn. Great draw. Which is surprising because I've, I've lit up a bunch of other good cigars in this fucking climate we're in right now. And I mean, especially the rebar, it's not fucking helping. And uh, you know what? It's holding. It's doing its thing. You got your AC running? I was running it before we did the show and then I shut it off when I came back in and I turned the Dyson down to like fucking three. It's still Yeah, we're going to break out of the seat on like. Friday, Friday, Saturday, we're breaking out, going down to oh, like 82. We look like the next fucking Thursday. So, yeah. What, what was the question? Oh, yeah. What are you looking forward to? Fun. The number one thing to- I, I'm looking forward to the end of summer and the fall golf round starting. Ooh. Dude, there, I've golfed on two of the hottest days this year so far. I'm going to golf yeah, Saturday, gonna fucking- and it, it's going to tie one of the hottest days. So I'm ready just to fucking golf and be comfortable and not sweat. 
like not break a fucking single sweat. Gol- golfing's not. It's not over. It's not an overexertion sport. No. Like you walk. Okay, you walk. Hundred feet to your ball because you can't take the cart there. Okay, you walk. You hit it. Literally, you hit it. You do fucking two practice swings, three practice swings, where you're not even hitting anything or moving anything. Hit it. Then you walk back to the cart. And you're fucking pouring sweat. Like, dude, I, I'm yeah. I'm not a summer guy. As much as I love getting a nice tan and being in a pool and just fucking patio drinks, I would trade that in for fucking hoodies and sweatpants in the fall 24-7. In the middle Anytime, of the fall... Man. Middle of the middle of the fall, let's say October fifteenth. Catch me outside, six PM, anywhere, no matter where I'm at, six PM, pretty much almost it's half dark by now. Catch me somewhere. Pff, I'm in the best mood of my entire life. Yeah. It's a it's a good seasonal change. Cause it's a relief from the that, fucking ass that, right now. That and end in November, I also find very appealing. Does it have to do with the holidays or? No, I think you, you, you get away with a long sleeve sweatpants, long sleeve pants, and then you have to switch to the once noon hits, you have to switch to the sweatshirt. And it's like, it's still fucking comfortable. I could come out here on a fucking middle of October day and I'm like, no, nah, we're good. Eight o'clock comes and I'm like, I'll put one heater on and I'll thermostat it to fucking 60 degrees. Yeah, you know, I can't think. I don't know if I actually herfed in the garage during the fall. With my stuff? Right after. No, I, don't, I don't remember that. Yeah, with myself? No, I don't remember that, dude. Then I didn't. Yeah. And it's just the most comfortable time of year. You could start a herf at like six o'clock because that's just how everybody herfs now. It's all virtually. Literally, there's no fucking in person herf. I gotta let a lot of people know once this border opens up where I could cross over the border by a car, I'm tossing a mega herf. It's gonna be like Cigar Fest, but like you don't have to pay anything and you don't get anything for free. And you have to show your COVID vaccination at the door. No, not that, but you know what? I might have, you know, the potato shooting guns. I might have one that does like half the power and just shoots fucking shotgunable drinks. Huh. That sounds and it's got a shot. It has a shotgun tool taped to the top of it. It's like you're getting hit with a fucking bullet. That doesn't sound good. You got to tell me people are trying to catch it, though. If somebody's shooting something out of a fucking. A t-shirt gun or a drink gun, people are catching that. Got to tell me that. You got to, you got, you got to give me that. Nobody's not catching that thing. Then you wouldn't pull the trigger. Where are we at? We're at a arena or some shit. We're at a rodeo. Smoking Joe's, huge parking lot, great for tailgating. Six cigar lounge. Um. It's one of the places I was last. I last was was when I was in the United States last. So I feel like I gotta go there. It's close. It's super close to my house. You know, seventeen minutes away, border to border. I gotta go there and just have a fucking time. You gotta when spend I first, a night at Matador too. Well, that's when I get out there. I gotta hit them up. See how they're doing. But uh, no, I'm just next time I can cross that border in the United States. I'm hoping it's mid to late fall. And fuck, I just want to throw down. Like, I just want to fucking throw down. You know what I mean? Like, I'm tempted to go into a place literally just as the rebar company and have enough swag, have enough shit, you know, <laughs> buy drinks and all that stuff just to be like the fucking rebar. It's the rebar show. People are like, I'll take a sticker. What is the rebar show? And I'm like, here, Check take it. this. Drink it as fast as you can. And just fucking have a good time. And they're like, oh, I like that. But welcome to the fucking rebar show. Bazang. 
here's the here's the here's the here's the coffee card where you can donate money. Yeah, it's my PayPal account. What's your whole thoughts on that? The whole coffee thing, and you've brought it up to me multiple times. Um, I think it's fucking. I think it's perfectly fine, man. I mean, we enjoy free content from people on YouTube, and a lot of the guys that ask for coffees or ask for uh, Patreon and all that shit, they're not that big, you know. They're they're like. Eh. It's like your micro company, it, but... your boutique company. Yeah, I mean, these guys, you know, they pay gas money to travel where they're going. They, you know, they pay admission to where they're going. And they have overhead. So, so, they, so here's my issue have... with it. Something I would potentially put on there in three episodes, I could just end up doing the same thing on the fucking episode, right? And that's that's why I would feel like a fucking scumbag. Well. I mean, you know, Patreon has tiers. You know, you can get an autograph. I, I wouldn't go Patreon. Sticker. I wouldn't go Patreon because I'm not a fucking male slime ball. You you know what I mean? Like I'm like, you know what I mean? You, you gotta, gotta go something like, like, you know super. You gotta go something super small and just like, oh, like, oh, you know, wh- like, what does coffee take as a percentage? What do they take as percentage? But fuck, it's got to be very minimal. I'm assuming. I know it's big in big in Canada, man. That's all I know. Oh fuck! Somebody's gonna about to buy us a bunch of coffees, double doubles. Yeah, it's um. It all depends on the content creator. If the content creator is up and coming, like I said, and they're not well established and not getting paid big money by YouTube, which a lot of these guys aren't. Hey, you want to fucking get some money on the side from your fans that watch your free content? Sure. Go do it, you know? So that's where I think it would benefit us. We don't have uh, monetizable money with YouTube. No, we have nothing. But at the same time, I'm like, you know what would be cool? To open up a group on like WhatsApp or Signal, something like that, where, okay... You're a member of this. You're a member of this. Anytime somebody gets added and you can't share the footage, pay five bucks and then you're in. Virtual rebar. Just virtual rebar. You know what I mean? Hey, if somebody calls tonight, this guy's answering. We're doing a, you know, we're hanging out tonight. We're lounging, right? Sounds like a virtual shit show, but... Well, hey, that's where the ducks fly. And that's where, <laughs> that's where the fish swim. That's um, where the fish swim. All right, you know, rebar team, all the rebar associates, everybody everybody heard the news yesterday, right? The, you know, the information was fucking released. What's your whole thoughts on where we are moving forward? Um, by us parting ways with United Cigars, I am positive. Looking forward to the future. Um, I'm glad you didn't say it was negative. You're like, fuck, we're a fuck now. (laughs) Everybody's fucked. I I mean, I'm sorry it didn't work out. No hard feelings and all. But when you look at us, we really don't lose anything from them. Um, Well, it's in our best interest to gain with what we have moving forward. There's, there's opportunities awaiting. Opportunities that were always there, actually. But we became complacent. With shouting out United. No. No. I, no. No. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. I, I think, and my, you know, my true opinion on this, I think we, uh, we went in a direction that was not necessarily as cigar forward or as cigar related to where, you know what I mean? They're, this is, they're not up and coming, but they're trying to make a fucking huge name for themselves. And I mean, they're already fucking big, right? Oh yeah. But I mean, a lot of people from the episode before and to when this first started, dude, people will relate United Cigars with the rebar. People will see me and they're like, fuck a tracksuit, United Cigar, right? And I get that, but I don't think, 
I was living very, very, very united, but I think it was too much united. And I think same with you, Herfed. You know what I mean? Like me and you were uh, very, very, very liberal on the on the united end. Yes. And it's just, uh, you know, it's a path they want to take. And, you know, it's we have to accept that. You know what I mean? Like I, I could never be pit, so a sponsor wants to move on. All right, man, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, what can I say? There's going to be somebody else is going to find this appealing. Yeah, man, it's not the end and of the world. It's, uh, they chose to do what they did. And the rebar is going to keep rebarring. The rebar is still going to keep rebarring. Rebarring. Yeah, yeah rebarring. The barring. Yeah, yeah we're, rebarring. Not get, we're not getting shut down yet, you know? No, we're not shut down. We're still going to keep doing our thing. Sipping our drinks, smoking our cigars, smoking some weed, whatever. Um, oh, you can't talk about that. I want you to name five companies that you think would make a good fit for the rebar show. Five companies. Hmm, okay. Uh, Caldwell. Why? Just because I think they have a more fuck you attitude. One, go. Two, wild wildfire cigars. Little plug. Who's that? That's uh, my man Jeremy, California hillbilly. Hit him up. He's dropping soon. Why wildfire cigars? Because Jeremy's a crazy motherfucker. All right, all right. Number three. Who is number three? Roma Craft. <laughs> Why Roma Craft? Because I know you love Skip. You know what? I truly do not hate Skip. I know you don't. I I think it's just some sort of like that's his personality and that's my personality on social media. And I think it just I try to make it clash with him. And you know whatever it is. The guy's doing fucking great for himself. And you know, that's the end to it, right? Guys buy him but fucking better watches, better vehicles than I am, so can't oh, yeah. shit on the dude for that, right? Being able to it, I just, you know, I don't agree with how it happens after that. All right, number four. Right here. Uh, number four, Rojas. Noel. He's on fire. He's on fire. He's one of the hottest fucking cigars out there right now. All of them. Blue Bonnet. Statement. He's fucking on fire. All right. All right. I have one of those, right? I'm sure you do. Yeah. No, I smoked one already. I don't think I have any left. Oh. I think I smoked like six of his like last fucking three cigars he put out. I had two of each. And yeah, excellent street taco. Ooh. Fucking grocery bag. Fucking put him in a body bag, man. So fucking good. All right, number five. I'll probably uh, room one hundred and one. All right, Room 101, one of my, you know, you know my relationship with Boofy. We are, uh, yeah. You know him? Ah, uh, I know, I know Matt, Matthew, Maddie. You know Matthew? Mateo. Yeah. Mateo. Um, why Room 101? I think Room 101 carries the same kind of fuck you philosophy that Caldwell does. All right. Um... And the fact that Matt Booth is probably one of my best friends in the world. Shit. That's how I got in contact with him was because of you. That's how you met me. All right. My my top five of who I would like to see uh, the Rebar Show get associated with. Um, Number one, I would go Caldwell. Uh, Robert Caldwell has just always interested me. Um. Super cool dude. He had the guy, he had Jeremy California Hillbilly with him for a bit. And I thought California Hillbilly was almost like trying to replicate him, but like a Californian style. So he had the beard. Uh, super greasy, super sick, like super tight, man. <laughs> you know, they, they fucking, they met their ends, right? Uh, I want to say Principal Cigars. Principal's got like a very fucking tight knit, tight fucking, you know what I mean? Like, High and tight sort of setup going, and uh, I 
I feel like we could be like, you know, the lounge series, right? I feel like that it does. Well, I'm not going inter- to, uh, I, I feel like that kind of falls into the United category. One of my big, th- well, yeah, no, but I feel like everything principal did was always just like in between the fucking United Byron level, right? Not necessarily what they sold it at, but how they presented it. Ads, shit like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, it doesn't matter what you wear into a cigar shop to buy a cigar. It matters how much you pay for the cigar on the end of it to be shallow. Um, It doesn't matter how fuck people dress regardless to what they buy. I you know what I mean? And, and I, I, I have a very high opinion of them, but I also think they... Uh, you know, they present themselves like fucking $12 cigars in a market where it's commonly 10 to $8, right? Primarily, I'd say, um, you know, it's just like, yo, lighten up, look what we smoke, right? Which is cool. I, I fucking dig that. Um, What was that, too? I think so, sure. That was, Three? Uh, yeah, it was a Caldwell Three? and... Uh... Three, I would go Camacho. Cause I, I fuck with the triple black Maduros, you know what I mean? And I smoked a lot of their older shit and I thought it was fucking fantastic. What's that? Yeah. It's like, it's Davidoff. It's old Davidoff on, you're not, you're not but, Camacho. you know what I mean? It's, uh, they, you know, they've stood the test of time and they're still here. Uh, okay. I have a different opinion about them, but. Um, all right, so we have one that we disagree with out of three so far. Number four I think they became like a value. They became like a value brand. But what cigar company hasn't that's been around for fucking fifteen years? Yeah, you know what I mean. I, number four, I would do Drew Estate as well. Uh, me and JD, Ooh, me and Jonathan Drew go way back. Uh, Let's you know, together, hanging JD. out. What's that? What? Oh, let's, let's. Sorry, you said let's do it together, JP. Did I? Um. Yeah, hundred percent. I would run with that guy. You know what? He's got a lot of good stuff, new stuff that I've tried. I can't say it's bad. It's been good. I've had a lot of shit Probably from New boutique. Yorker. I, I've had a lot of shit from newer boutique companies that I fucking wouldn't even fucking. I wouldn't trade you a box for one of those fucking Drew Estates for. Um. You know what? He was a long time fucking guy of the rebar. It's always always been there. So you know what? I I would uh, you know I, I would have that honor of that guy fucking wanting to put his fucking label on the show. Yeah, literally, love the hate. literally, it's just like, where is it? Where the fuck did I put it? I put There's it a fucking... lot of Drew Estate hate. Oh, out sorry. There. It's just it's just over there, fucking. Five feet away from my hand over there on the floor. What's a Drew Estate Kentucky fire cured fucking barrel head? Um, number five, I gotta agree with you. Room 101. Um, Boofy's just a fucking, he's in an aura when he moves. You know what I mean? He's walking, there's somebody four feet behind him, like a personality, and there's somebody fucking five feet in front of him. That's just like, you know, people want to do that. People want to cling to that, and that's what I think the re- I, that's what I think the rebar is. Is we, you know, what I mean, we might not have fucking everybody following us, but the people that follow us are the fucking people that matter, right? Or the, pe- the, the people, the people that it's it's people that just move fucking weight. You know what I mean? They, you know, they carry mass. This guy fucking talks to five guys. This guy talks to fucking ten guys. You know what I mean? And it's just, hey, everybody knows what's up with the rebar, but not everybody wants to admit they know what's up with the rebar. You know what I mean? We're secondhand smoke. Indeed we are. And I'm cool with that. There's a bunch of cigar fucking magazine companies out there that wanted to create that look. We're not them. We're not this. We do our own thing. But then you see fucking ratings times and everybody's fucking honking on the same hog. So what's the difference? Herfhead. I got to go break the seal. Number two. No doubt. All right. So, you know, we don't get, we, we, we never get comments on our videos. So if anybody's listening to this, 
leave a comment down below if you're interested in us doing a real cigar show for once. Like legit cigar podcast, both smoke the same cigar, talk about the cigar, where it was grown, what kind of soil was used, how long it was fermented for, that kind of shit. Leave a couple comments down below. Hit that like button and subscribe. And maybe we'll do a video like that. You know, in order to get ahead on YouTube, you gotta you gotta you gotta like subscribe. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, you gotta listen to us. Listen to us, you know. Set alarms. Make sure you know we're we're on. You gotta take a shit, listen to the rebar show, you know. Gotta jerk off, listen to the rebar show, you know. Gotta go drive to the deli, get some fucking super sad, something like that. Listen to the rebar show. Again, I hope all my fellow rebar tober listeners are uh, around, and uh, let's give all our love to Big Rob. Going through some hard times right now. Let's all pull for him if we can. If you pray to anything, let's give him a prayer. And uh, yeah. I am very excited for the future of uh, the rebar. You know, as sad as the passing of United was, I think it's a bright future ahead of us. But that's just my opinion. That's just her Fed's opinion. So we- here's the thing. I'm not asking people to like and subscribe. But when I get a I shit did. when I get a shit ton of feedback on the uh the rebar stories, the rebar quick stories, and then you start seeing the comments that are rolling in, you're like, oh, fuck, all right, like that's sick. You know what I mean? So I asked I asked the people that were listening if they want us to do one episode of a real cigar review podcast. Yeah. Let us know down in the comments and we'll do it. Dude, I would truly do I, I get to pick my cigar I want to smoke. You get to pick your cigar you want to smoke. No, I think we should smoke the same cigar. All right. All and right. We'll be all we'll be all stupid about it, you know? No, not even let's be st- Dead serious. Dead fucking That's serious. What I mean. you know what I mean? That's what I mean by serious. Oh, sorry. My translator's off. It's the AirPods. But, uh, I get it's the summertime. It probably kills you to listen to the show. Like, it hurts you. Just imagine sitting up here fucking trying to film it. And that's why I think the fucking short stories work so well. It's hot. It's like I could get 20 seconds of Rebar Show right now and just boom, it's going to be there next week. But you know what? We still been pulling some weight. So any of my five or her five, listen up, prepare yourself. We're also going to open up, uh, you know, we open up our coffee page. We're going to look to start a uh, Rebar team. Over here, Tyke's team in Long Island. So we want to get some of our jerseys. Uh, Branch out, right? We're not trying to sound like some sort of fucking shitty cigar group or club. But like uh, any money that you any money you want to give us, we'll we'll put it to good use. It's not even that. If you have a talent to offer, you could shotgun a beer faster than me or a drink faster than me or even faster than her fed. I mean, nobody's ever seen this guy fucking shotgun a drink, but yeah. It's going to tell us his yeah. earpod fell out. My earpod fell out. Do you think you could, uh, how fast do you think you could shotgun a drink? Uh, last time I did one with you was a couple days ago. I think it was like five seconds. You're right. It was a couple days ago, 100%. And shotgunning these, um, what are they called? Bright Suns, something like that. Um, high noons. They're a little tougher. Yeah, high noons. Same shit. It's like, what the fuck's this guy so, talking about? Bright suns. Bright sun. High noon. It's all. It's called fucking bacon. My baloney. There you go. 
Uh, I was really surprised by the amount of carbonation that was in it compared to like the Trulies and uh, the White Claws and all that shit. Definitely a lot harder to uh, shotgun. I don't even get a hello anymore. What's that? I don't even get a hello when you come in anymore. I didn't know where you were. I was looking. Sorry, that's my wife that just stepped over here. Um, Paula! I couldn't find her. I looked. I checked the bedroom. No, looked the rest. All right, Paula, get out here. No. Get out here. We're doing an episode. Didn't think to look up there. No, I didn't. I thought I saw it locked, but it was unlocked. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Paula to the one and only Reebok show. We're still recording. Yeah, we're still recording. So uh-huh. we're announcing Paula. you out here. No, thank you. Uh, uh, right. uh, uh, Paula. Paula, stage left. Oh, she's stepping out here and checking out the beer fridge. Yeah, what up? Uh-oh. Oh, well, she, she's still in a twisted tea on the ground that's piss warm. Two, keep your oh. dirty hands out of there. I have a freezer inside. She's going to blow a 2.0. I have one up there, too. I just, I just pulled that out of it. Three. Three freezers. So, fuck, it's weird to talk about. We have right now four fridges, three freezers. Sorry, four freezers. Four fridges, four freezers. Four. Our average TV size is 58 inches. And we have four TVs in this house. We have a 48-inch TV in the bedroom, and it's bringing down the size. Um, You don't buy that shit at supermarkets, right? Fully purchased from only TV ever purchased, not from the brick. Which is like, uh, what, what's a big fucking TV? Uh, basically like a Best Buy, but they sell furniture too. Um, sure. My wife hits me up the other day. Last night. She's like, send me a picture. I checked my phone. I was like, fuck, five messages all from her. I scroll to it. And I was like, watch the fuck. She got a picture of a TV. She's like 540 or 549. No tax. Is that a good deal for this TV? So I fucking... What the fuck? 65 inch smart TV fucking Aquarius from RCA. I was like, yeah. As I'm running back, are you getting it? She responds back like, all right, just got to run home, grab some cash. <laughs> we only run cash in this household. Anything over fucking 200 bucks, we're cash in this household. Ooh. Um, no, it's just... You're spending 200 bucks. I mean, there's a good chance somebody's making a fucking commission off it or something. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, cash, cash, get a good receipt. You don't have to worry about fucking anything. Cash. It says you paid cash. Boom. It's there. Um, she comes home with it. I fucking do some shit when I get home last night. Fuck, we're unloading this thing. And I'm like, fuck, she's helped me carry it in. I got a 70 in the basement. And I was like, Ooh. how the fuck did I carry this thing in by myself? I literally carried a 70 out of there, carried a fucking 60 out here into the garage, set it all up. No fucking problem. And I was like, how the fuck did I carry a 70 with a box to the basement? Like, how the fuck? The other bizarre thing is every time we buy TVs, it's always a Monday or a Tuesday and our garbage day is Wednesday. Got to hold on to that box. I think we've put, I don't think we've any put TV, any TV boxes out to the curb. Uh-oh. I'll, take, I'll take that shit to work or I'll get my fucking old man to take that shit to his work and throw it out. I used to ask the garbage guys, do I have to break down the boxes? They're like, nah, fuck that shit. It ain't that. It's just, you want to see a neighbor in fucking three years getting fucking three TVs over 60 inches. You know what I mean? Fuck that. Swing your big fucking tech dick around. Yo, and then we fucked ourselves when we had the fucking 12 grand worth of appliances delivered that day. But that's the problem, though. You know what I mean? Like that That's just fucking awkward. Break all like, your boxes down. We, we, we don't live in a fucking low-end neighborhood. Now it's like a middle-class to upper neighborhood. But... Dude, I literally pay like my mortgage cost me three dollars and twenty cents a day. 
with my oh, life insurance, with my property tax. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. Like, do you don't. Yo, you did you get that? Somebody... Did you get that emer- um, Did you get that emergency alert on your phone about a fucking storm? No. On the Weather yeah. Channel, I got it in. It was windy as fuck earlier here, and then fucking it broke up, and we got nothing. We live in That's so weird. so a little. So this uh, is- Geographical, fuck, ge- geography, geography, education for everybody here. Where I live to where my in-laws live to where Wiseman lives, we are in a biosphere. So what happens is, is from a mountaintop, even though it's not super tall, it's maybe 300 feet tall. From the upper to the lower to where the water is, is so close it actually creates a biosphere where a lot of the bad weather misses you, but when the bad weather hits you, you're fucked, but you get a lot of the good weather a lot of times. So it'll rain towards the lake, 10 blocks up a shit ton. We'll get nothing. We'll just get pounded. My grass is fucking brown right now. My wife watered the back lawn. Damn. Sprinklers going on the front lawn, but uh, yeah, we live in a biosphere. So yeah, it's, we've had a wet, wet mile there. Yeah. We, we'll see. Oh, wow. this, is, this is the longest it's taken us forever to, for us to put our sprinklers out in the summer, though, because we were wet up until fuck, first week in August. So we didn't have to. But uh, yeah, it's, educate check yourself. It, you check it, do you, check do you live out. in a biosphere? Check your text out. It's really strange because it's saying Canada, upstate, Buffalo. No, I, I do not live in a biosphere. I get shit on whenever, whenever the fucking Lord decides to shit on us. We missed that fucking that hurricane. It was gonna fucking. They were saying it was gonna hit us directly. Tropical storm, Henry. Henry. Yeah, you, you told me it was <laughs> Henry. Where are you from right now, bro? What uh, are you um, called? Did you went to Caldwell the fucking unit room one hundred and one right now? Henry. Henry. Ha- Henry. Like what fucking news stations do you get? He's like it just cuts out. It goes from France. To fucking Belgium, to fucking this place, to this place. He's like, all right. Norway, Nor- Nor- Norway. Norway is the big uh, station I watch. Norwegian. I and you, Norwegian. Fuck. Let's keep it short until next week. Let us know what you want to see. Let us know what you want to hear. Yeah. Ow. God, I just touched the cigar to my wrist. Hey. Ow. Hey, never a dull moment on the rebar show. So to finish out right now, now, you got your. Literally, look at that black mark right there. It's a burn. I'll be fine. You got your breathalyzer? Oh, do I? So, you know what? I'm going to start a breathalyzer on the show, and uh, we're going to fade out to the fucking very end. The very, very, very end. So, you got that bad boy on? Right? We got to do All right, mine's booting up. Until next time, bitches. 1.3. Two seconds, one seconds. 0.16. I'm still good.